America, today we have with us the amazing Odin Albano here to talk with us about music. So my first question with you, Odin, is how long have you been working in the music industry? Well, I think it's been about six years now that I've been doing this professionally. You see, I've played music a long time since I was a little kid playing guitars and stuff, but I haven't really been able to make a living off it, so ever since that open mic one day where a producer came and now I'm here. Um, so I think six years professionally, but a lot longer. Oh, Oh, wow, six years. How long would you say on professionally? <laughs> Let me think. Um, God, now it's been like something like 20 years. Jeez, I'm old. Wow, 20 years? How's that experience been for you? Well, there's parts of it that I like and parts of it that I don't like. Um, it's really great that I get enough income from fans, probably some people watching today, um, selling my records and stuff, because then I get to help people who really need, are in need of housing and clothing and all that, and I really like that sometimes my songs can help someone out if they're sharing similar difficulties that... I've had, but there's also some things people don't really talk about, like a guy I know named Peter Elmans once said, it's all about money and that's why they call it the business, and I think uh, that rings really true to my heart as someone successful myself. I've definitely seen that. Um, I've seen a lot of musicians where they just completely go off their original style just to see what they think the fans want. And I try to not do that in my music, but sometimes it gets out. And um, that's just people ripping off other musicians too really gets to me because in reality we're all in this together. We're the ones who set the trends and all that stuff and I think we should play what's true to our hearts and it doesn't have to resonate with all the fans hearts but I think they'll like us more for that wow so you would might say some in sorry you might say some musicians lack inspiration and maybe their fans inspire them to do whatever topic that's kind of popular. Um, what would say inspires you? Well, there's a lot of things that inspire me. Um, sometimes I make my songs about, uh, well, one of my most recent ones was about politics and the way things are going now. I think people may like to hear about that and know some people there are sharing their opinion and it's also a good way to I don't know, show your support for a cause, a political cause, if anything. Um, I've also done some songs about love. Uh, those really help get your emotion out through music. I think it's widely relatable because, you know, most of us here have loved at some point in time. Um, sometimes I do songs about money. Uh, I really wish it wasn't such a big deal in our lives, but... I guess that's part of living in this society that, you know, money kind of defines you, defines where you live, what you eat, all that stuff. So I do some songs about that. I try not to brag about how much I have because there's really no point in doing that. Um, but yeah, I think that those kind of inspire me to make music. Uh, I do get some inspiration from music I listen to. I think we all do. Um, I try not to copy it like some others would, but I get some inspiration. Uh, Green Day really helps my music. Uh, what would I say? I'd say it really... I don't know. I get some good styles from them, definitely, and... Some lower key 
bands like uh, I don't know, there's this one song by a band, it's called Steady Rollin', and it's a great song, and I love the intricacy of the one guitar. I try to integrate that into some of my music, do finger-picking styles along with, like, an electric guitar. But, um, yeah, I think that's what inspires me. Hmm, that's really interesting. Um... What would you say is some music you like to listen to? I know you answered that a little bit, but can you elaborate? Well, my musical chase taste kind of changes. I'm not the kind of person to just like one kind of genre. Um, yeah, I like everything from, uh, what, uh, 50 Cent to Johnny Cash. But I think... There's, you can tell it's a good song when you know it's kind of from the heart, the instrumentals kind of ring to you, kind of have that click. Um, too many songs I hear today are so generic and just trying to be like the other top songs, so I really like a good song that won't do that, and that kind of stands out to me. Um, I also really like music that would... I don't know, kind of start kind of quiet and then intensify and then kind of go back down because it really takes you through a journey. Um, yeah. A journey, huh? Well, what's what would you say is your favorite non-musical activity to do? Non-musical activity? Jeez, it's been, God, six years since I've actually done something outside of music. It's such a um, time-consuming industry. Like, every day I'm writing music or thinking of new guitar parts to do. But, um... <laughs> I know this is going to sound silly, but Wii Boxing. Um, I really like Wii Boxing. It really... You know, when you can't sing about your emotions, it's half as good to just punch a virtual thing on the, uh, punch like a virtual AI on the TV. It may be a little dated, all the kids with their PlayStations now, but I think it's really the way to go. And, God, I also do, I love doing charity work. Um, what was I just doing? Well, there was a soup kitchen at the local church I just volunteered at. Um, it's also good to just, you know, make food and bring out to the homeless. I think that really, it's a good fulfilling part of life because you can sing all you want and you can have fun. And if you're lucky like me, make all the money. But uh, I think sometimes you need a little more in life. Well, those are all of my questions. Um, thanks so much for being on our show. Could we get a round of applause for Odin Albano? Thank you. All right. Good night, America.